What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ariel. I do fashion lifestyle content. If you enjoy content like this, I'd super appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all my weekly uploads. Try to do at least one video a week. If I can, I try to do it two videos a week for you guys. Before I forget, today I am wearing a vintage Hanes. This is probably from the 1990s because it's single stitch. Just wearing a vintage Hanes white t-shirt. Fall winter 13 Saint Laurent brown flannel shirt. And this one's actually from the Pendleton uh, picks, which if you guys know about Eddie, when he was doing the fall winter 13 collection, all the flannels were actually done with Pendleton fabrics, which is pretty sick. If you guys know, you know. On the legs, I'm rocking some custom distressed denim. Today, we're going to be getting into one of my favorite, I definitely keep it in my top five, sneakers of all time, just because of how versatile the sneaker is and how iconic and classic it is. The pair that I have today is probably one of the most premium versions I've ever seen it in. I actually got this in the mail a couple of days ago and have been wearing it with different outfits, which I'll show you guys at the end of this vlog. But I just want to get into why this sneaker, in my opinion, is definitely one of the best, if not the best sneaker. So today we're gonna to be checking out the Stan Smith Recon Edition of the Stan Smith line. This sneaker came out roughly, I wanna say four or five months ago, something like that, give or take, in a couple of different colorways. I picked it up in the most classic colorway just because I really love the white and green colorway of the Stan Smith. I feel like it's the most classic and most iconic people just see it and they instantly know what it is and I, in my opinion i just feel like this goes with pretty much everything that i wear i've had multiple pairs throughout the years but none like this pair that we're going to get into so before i go further and just gush about how much i love the sneaker let's unbox it so on the recon edition it comes with this really nice premium looking adidas box it's got the Stan Smith signature logo there, Stan Smith signature logo on the top. Also has an Adidas logo, all in gold foil throughout the box. Sneakers come packaged in this box. Also has nice little detailings around the box like that. So here we have the Stan Smith Recon Edition. Now the differences between this and pretty much a mainline Stan Smith, as far as the US pairs go, the most notable thing would be obviously leather quality, unless you're paying for a premium version like this or, or something like this, which is the Swarovski Crystal Stan Smith Premium Edition, which I'll showcase later in the video as I get into more detail. You're going to get this flat, thin tongue, which in my opinion is the better silhouette opposed to the US standard pairs, which have more of a thicker and fatter tongue so the leather quality is way different i'll include a picture of the general stan smiths that are us pairs over on the side and you guys will pretty much be able to instantly see the differences in shape and leather quality in photos just off top without me even showing how much difference the leather is you guys can just see by pictures in my opinion i've had tons and tons of stan smiths over the years this is probably the most premium pair that I've ever seen. Right next to pretty much what's standard for European Stan Smiths. They all pretty much come, the Europe release ones that I'm talking about, with a flat tongue, premium leather for the full body of the shoe. Also a leather insole. This one is special, so on the Recon Edition you're gonna see a gold foil Stan Smith stamp on tongue you're gonna see a gold foil stan smith script logo on the footbed on the leather insole the inside is a more of a vanilla leather wrapped around the whole inside of the sneaker and then on the outside you're gonna get that nice white leather and then the difference is with the standard premium or just standard general release stan smiths this is going to be in an evergreenish green leather and then the Stan Smith is almost like hot stamped or maybe not hot stamped but embossed into the heel of the shoe which is pretty sick I love this and I just feel like it's more of a 
premium, which is the point of the recon. They tried to do a luxury take on the Stan Smith. The uh, most notable difference that I could say between this and the European premium standard version is that the tongue is a lot more padded. I didn't notice that. Adds for that extra luxe leather in the tongue, which is great for when you're wearing it. It just adds to that comfort. But all in all, I just rate this a 10 out of 10 sneaker. I just feel like the Stan Smith has stood the test of time since its first release. And Stan Smith and Adidas first launched the original pair. And the thing that I find interesting is a lot of you guys know that I don't wear sneakers that much nowadays. I'm pretty much a boot guy and I'm very select with the sneakers that I wear. But back in my sneakerhead days, uh, some of the sneakers that are known to hold up unless you store them the wrong way, are Air Jordan 1s and Stan Smiths. And the reason for that being is because the sole is actually stitched on. It's not uh, just glued on. So the sole tends to last lifetimes ahead of it as long as you store it in the proper storage conditions and don't leave them under either extreme cold or extreme heat in your closet. But I find it interesting that a lot of these pairs last so long because I even had a friend of mine's dad who's had his OG pairs from back in the day and they looked just as crisp as these. And it's just funny seeing how a sneaker is over generation over generations is just timeless and classic. And that's all I think about when I see a Stan Smith. It's just such a tasteful sneaker, perfect silhouette, and it's not chunky. That's one of the main reasons I love it so much. And as I was staying, stating briefly before, you guys know that I don't really wear sneakers a lot. If anything, I wear my Golden Goose, which I'm gonna get into also because as you guys can see, the Golden Goose, you guys see the silhouette, takes inspiration from the Stan Smith. So a little color on the heel tab, perforations on the side, same thing, obviously they can't take the same amount of perforations because of copyright or and or trademarking, but a lot of these new sneakers that have come out over, over time have definitely taken inspiration from the classics like the Stan Smith, which is another reason why I love it and they pay homage with their brands, but I just feel like the Stan Smith, in my opinion, out of all the sneakers I've had over the years, it's always been something that I like to keep a fresh pair in my closet. This is probably the most premium luxe version, in my opinion, that I've seen in a long time. That right next to the what's known as the standard European versions, which are also in a really nice full grain leather. I don't know why the US pairs are made a little bit cheaper. I think that that's probably another story to dive into. If you guys have some time to do some research, something that you can clearly see if you go into any Adidas for anybody located in the States, you can see the plain Stan Smiths are pretty much a little bit cheaper and they look, the leather is kind of hard. So that's not something that I'm into. I like the more premium versions that look like this and automatically when you touch it, you can just feel that the leather is way, way nicer. Another great thing about the Stan Smith that I like to touch on is that it is such a clean classic silhouette and it's not going to break the bank, especially with the recon. For something as versatile as this and something as premium as this Stan Smith, the recon, I feel like this is the ultimate sneaker for anybody who wants something that's endless as far as class goes, endless as far as versatility goes. If you need something that can literally go with everything. The Stan Smith is going to be your best bet. And it's just something that no matter what you're wearing, I know I always say you can wear this with a suit, but you can literally wear this with a suit and it look dope. As long as the suit is fitted pretty nicely, I think that you could pull this off with a suit. Looks great with denim, as I will show you guys at the end of this vlog when we get into styling and fits. But yeah, it's just something that I feel is super tasteful and you can't go wrong for the price point of a Stan Smith. It does come in multiple different variations and collaborations. I picked this pair up for Amber. This is actually the Swarovski Crystal Premium Edition. So the main differences would be on the tongue. They did it in Swarovski Crystals for Stan Smith's face, which was kind of dope. And then also they did the heel tab in Swarovski Crystals, which is pretty cool. I don't know if the camera's picking up all the sparkles, but 
I think it's pretty cool. A nice classic silhouette with a little bit of a collab touch, which was cool. And also it just says Force of Crystals and it has the metal lace tips, which is also a nice little touch. I will link them in the description box below if I could still find the recon. If not, I'll link something as close to it as possible that's also in a clean silhouette that looks similar to this and is also a premium. So you guys can find it easier. Now let's hop into some fit video so I can show you guys how I styled them and then we're gonna wrap this vlog up. All right, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap this vlog up. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys can see yourself rocking out with a pair of Stan Smiths like these. Do you feel that they are as versatile in your wardrobe? Do you feel like they are as classic of a sneaker as I feel? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and let's discuss. If you are new to the channel, welcome again. My name is Ariel. I do luxury fashion and lifestyle content. If you enjoy content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all weekly drops. I try to do at least one video a week, but if I can, I do two. So definitely hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my weekly drops. And as always, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Later.